Hello, my name is Jennifer Engel. I am the author of Heaven Under Construction, which I wrote in 2014, and it was published by Bo Barrel Press in 2017. And just recently, I had discovered that my cancer has recurred for the third time. And so I was going to do um, something that I like to do that helps me heal called reflective poetry. Where I was back in 2014, and where I am now. And I'm gonna do that through the month of October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So today's poem is actually the third poem in the book, and it's called Purpose. What is my purpose? Why do I exist? What am I trying to grasp? My aim cannot continue to be and remain sick. Born broken, spina bifida, mother trying to help me heal. I managed my care, had fair, had fair health from there, but now I am sick once again. Purpose complex, an elusive mess. Once I must figure out how to cleanse, which should be one, I must figure out how to cleanse. I typed a little too quickly. So that was me back in 2014, you know. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, I was also born with a mild case of spina bifida, which did not affect me nor my mother and my family mildly. Um, I had some pretty severe issues up until I was about 19, and then we found a lot of really good ways to manage my care. Um, and then in 2014, I found that I had cancer, and so that's kind of what this um, was alluding to, that it took me almost 20 years for me to feel healthy. And then uh, for 20 years, I felt fairly healthy. And then I got cancer. Um, my cancer resurged last year in 2020, but it was very small. It was on my spine. I got three doses of radiation and now I'm finding it's recurring again. And so here is my thoughts um, now that it is recurred for a third time. This time I call it purpose endures. I have found purpose to educate, to enlighten myself and others. Divided thoughts and ill feelings manifest sickness once again. Focus. There are no sick timelines. You can create and maintain a healthy one. My higher self educates, enlightens, and guides me through darkness. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for I still have purpose. For those of you who don't know me, I started like a little entrepreneurship. I realized that um, just writing a book doesn't actually, oh look, there's my Amazon Prime notification. <laughs> um, I started to realize that just writing a book doesn't actually get it out there to the public. And so I started um, just for fun and to give me purpose to research entrepreneurship and how to do marketing and things like that. And then that kind of led me into doing inspirational talks. Um, and one thing that I do is I do something called Jaunt with Jen. And so whenever I get kind of like a spiritual or a deep concept that I've been thinking about or meditating about for a long time, I will do a talk, a jaunt, literally while I'm taking my walk in the morning. And then I might just have a picture or something like that that goes over the screen while I'm talking because the purpose of it is that you could use it almost like a podcast. Just plug it into your phone, listen to your earbuds while you're doing dishes or maybe even while you're taking your own walk. And this morning, um, and so hopefully I'll put the link down below, I actually did a talk kind of about this on my jaunt with Jen this morning that, um, well, okay, not about the sp specific thing about having purpose, but about how I believe we can kind of create and manifest our own reality. And so if you want to know more about that, I will put the link below uh, to that jaunt with Jen that I did today. 
Um, that's where a lot of these thoughts come today from my poem, Divided Thoughts, Ill Feelings Manifest manifest sickness once again and so again in that jaunt with Jen I kind of go into a little bit more detail as to what I mean by that so again if you're curious um, you can check out that YouTube link as well and I just feel really blessed um I don't know I've been really connected to my higher self God source whatever you want to call it probably since at least 2011 2012 and I've been really working on developing that relationship every morning. And I'm not sure I would be as positive and I would be as hopeful has, have, has it not been for that relationship. Um, and even if you're not really into God and spirituality and things like that, I have a ton of like jaunts with Jen and things like that on my YouTube channel. Also, Highest Possibility States is the second book that I wrote um, that kind of shows us like the biggest thing that I have in this one is the matrix that kind of came out of it <laughs> um, and it kind of shows like when we're in lower states how can we get up into higher states so even if you're not into like God or spirituality or anything like that um, this is the book that came about from 2014 until I just published it this summer, 2021, of all the different resources I've gathered, nine tools, nine habits, that I've also developed in my life that led me to a more positive outlook. Um, so that even when I am getting diagnosed with cancer, or the cancer recurs, because you can't technically get re-diagnosed, it just comes up again um, with cancer the third time. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. When I first heard, um, I generally go through it. it. It's a very specific pattern. Um, I go through fear that I only have like a year to live or whatever and, and the world's going to end. And then I walk through that fear and I come up with a plan. And I'm not going to lie to you, even though, you know, I have been practicing highest possibility states for um, several years, I still walked through that process. But the difference between, I think, being diagnosed the first time is that fear, I think, um, sticks with us a little bit longer. And I don't want to speak for anyone else because everyone has their own journey. And so maybe their fear is still sticking with them the second or the third time. But for me, I'm a little bit more positive. I'm a little bit more optimistic about this time because um, of that connection with God's source or whatever you want to call it. And then just lots and lots of practice of working um, on these tools and habits that really helped me get through almost any difficult situation from spina bifida to relationships that have malfunctioned to being diagnosed with cancer and anything else that I could have gone through. So um, I'll also put the link in this YouTube video to my website, Highest Possibility States, where if you're interested, in um, the book Heaven Under Construction where I write 365 um, poems and maybe during October specifically there were some lessons that came out of Heaven Under Construction so I'll probably revamp those during October so look forward to those and then if you're interested in highest possibility states there's also a lot of free videos on my website and on YouTube um, about these topics. I hope that this has help someone today I really hope you find your own purpose because not only um, with my connection with God and source and um, these tools and habits that I found but that is my purpose and that's kind of what I set up here is to educate to enlighten myself and others and your purpose doesn't have to be something big and huge it can be something small it could be I still need to be a mother to my children it could be whatever it is, but I have found that purpose plus habits plus connection, even if it's not to God or source, but to others is really what helps us keep living and keep moving forward. I hope that this has helped someone today so that you can use your own purpose to first help yourself and to help others. Peace and blessings.